Hi and welcome to the MRTV Daily News, your quick roundup of everything that's important in VR and AR today. And today's headlines for the 20th of December 2018 are Stepping Stone VR wants to revolution, <laughs> revolutionize, revolutionize, that was nearly English, walking in VR. Then Angry Birds is coming to VR in 2019. Magic Leap launches a $250 prescription insert and first videos of the Daydream 6 Degrees of Freedom controllers emerge. And all of this goodness is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this is your first time here. If you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Yes, hi and welcome to the MRTV Daily News on this 20th of December 2018. If you love this channel and if you want to support me, then I'll be very happy about any super chat and of course your name is going to scroll down here for the rest of this show and it's going to be pretty amazing all right but now as you know always how we do it here we go to the news and we go through the news together so today's news stepping stone vr uses multi-platform electromagnetic propulsion to fight sim sickness. So how does Stepping Stone want to fight sim sickness? Well, they want to put you on a little platform which is moving on another bigger platform. And well, because of this kind of movement that you will feel in the real world, then you will not feel sick after all. And we're going to have a look at the video. Enjoy. Yeah, well, <laughs> hi, push the button. How are you doing? Um, yeah, well, I, I doubt, I doubt that this is going to happen, honestly speaking, because I don't think people will sit on this kind of little platform and have them move around. And well, you sit on that stool and you cannot really, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen, but they have another high stacks beard. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> they have another interesting concept though. Another interesting concept that I personally find much more interesting than sitting on this platform. So the other, the other concept is that they have several of these moving platforms and these platforms will move into your way when you simply walk around. And let me show you how they think how this concept could work. Check this out. This is pretty cool shit. Now, that is more interesting, isn't it? Now, in this video, like the platforms are, are on wheels, but actually this company, Stepping Stone VR from France, they want to use electromagnetic propulsion. And um, yeah, th th that would be amazing, right? <laughs> and yeah, you need a big room for that. Exactly, push the button, agreed. But if this would work, and if you can simply walk just like naturally, right? Because all the other um, infinity treadmills, the walking isn't really so natural, right? It's more like, I don't know, it, it doesn't look so natural. So yeah, 
if he could just walk completely natural, that would be really, really nice. <laughs> and Super Heavy Metal Demon would like to see the outtakes from that video. Totally agreed. Anyways, I got I got in touch with this company, Stepping Stone VR, and yeah, I would totally like to try it out once they are getting closer to bringing that to us, the consumers. And you know what? They really, really plan to bring this to consumers. No kidding. They are preparing actually a Kickstarter campaign. And uh, yeah, I would love to see that. I would really, really love to see that in action. And um, yeah, they're preparing for a Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign to help it get there. <clears throat> it's currently estimated to utilize a consumer safe 12 volt voltage and the campaign will likely run for around $150,000. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Hello, Norman. Hello, Void Presence. Good to have you here. All right. But anyways, let's go to the next topic. Angry Birds is coming to virtual reality. It's coming to a virtual reality headset near you in 2019. It's coming to all major VR platforms. So probably that's, that means Vive, Rift and PlayStation VR, probably even to Oculus Quest and Daydream. We will see about that. Anyways, it's going to be a first person um, affair, just like in, uh, in the Magic Leap 1 game. So Magic Leap 1 also has Angry Birds and the Magic Leap 1 version was also done by Resolution Games. And yeah, they're working together with Rovio to bring Angry Birds to virtual reality. Nice. So I must say, yeah, I'm not so excited about it. Well, it's it's a nice game on, on mobile, right? But I'm not sure if it's if it would be for me interesting enough to put on a headset. I don't know. What do you guys think? Super Heavy Metal Demon hopes it comes to Oculus Go. Yeah, perhaps could be. Well, for free, I would definitely check it out. How about you guys? Would you check this out? And how much would you pay? Would love to know. Skitro says boring on mobile phones, so would be a good demo. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Not that excited, Starkspeed. Yeah, same here. Same here. All right, the next news item. Magic Leap 1 prescription inserts are finally available. Yeah, so if you are normally wearing glasses and if you if you... If you are one of the few people on this planet Earth who has the Magic Leap 1, then you can now get the Magic Leap 1 prescription inserts and they will only set you back $250. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Adam. Hi, Adam. Good to have you here in the chat. Yeah, so $250 for those prescription inserts. Are you friggin' fucking kidding me? I mean, like, like what? But perhaps, perhaps they thought like, um, perhaps they thought, yeah, they are, they are crazy enough to put down two, $2,300. So then they can probably also pay $250 for some prescription inserts. Oh my God. Oh my God. Really? Right. It's crazy. Exactly. Stags, but it's crazy. It's totally crazy. Yeah. So, no, I'm not going to buy $250 inserts for the Magic Leap 1 that cost $2,300. <laughs> yeah, and Void Presence says $250 that cost more than my glasses. Right, exactly, for me too. Like, my glasses here, yeah, they look very good on me. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. That's how you're looking like? Oh, damn, let me, let me get that off. Yeah, um, so that's really, that is really like too expensive, right? I mean, like, no, I don't think that's, that's, that's a good price. Yeah. Magic Leap is waiting to get acquired by a larger company. Perhaps, 
But that must be a very, very large company then. Yeah, anyways, let's have a look at this short video that shows us how beautiful that $250 gla uh, prescription lenses will fit into it. Magnets? Oh, you totally don't see that, sorry. Yep. <laughs> Stark's beard, you're right. <laughs> I see you can hardly contain your excitement over this. Yeah, I, I don't know. Really, it's, it's like so amazing that you can buy $250 prescription inserts for the $2,300 Magic Leap that has like five apps. It's, it's like, wow, what, what a news item today. Yeah, you see, it's a slow news day if this is, if this made it to the top four news. Smoking Man got a PSVR and for $150? So suck it? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? You, you like it or you don't like? <sighs> oh my goodness. Anyways, let's go to the next topic today. I like it. Okay, that's good. Because I like it too. The next topic, the following topic. Okay, as you know, the Daydream platform normally comes only with a 3D with one three degrees of freedom controller, right? But now, for the Lenovo Mirage Solo, for the six degrees of freedom headset, now they have um, a developer kit which will bring two six degrees of freedom controllers to the whole daydream affair and now it's getting exciting for daydream because most probably they're setting this up for a six degrees of freedom um, headset with two six degrees of freedom controllers something like the oculus quest so now the first videos have emerged with people trying this out and we're going to have a look at this together now So here's the the six the, the three degrees of mo uh, three degrees of freedom controller. Now they put on this this plate, and now boom. Six two six degrees of freedom controllers for the the Lenovo Mirage Solo. Nice, very very nice. Exactly, and Adam. Adam says it. Time to start talk, taking Daydream seriously again. Exactly. This is a game changer. Really. Daydream could be really exciting. In uh, Somebody has subscribed, right? Very good. Um, this could be really, really exciting now. In um, 2019, once we get that 6 degrees of freedom headset with two 6 degrees of freedom controllers, it could run exactly the same games like the Oculus Quest. It could have exclusive games thanks to Google buying Alchemy Labs. It could have all kinds of awesome stuff. So yes, yes, I am excited. This this I'm really excited about. So this this is cool because it would be great to have like two big players having, having like um, Oculus Quest like headsets. Oculus Quest and Daydream that would be amazing. So they could like um, compete against each other in price and they could, yeah, have cool, amazing games. So definitely, definitely, this would be amazing. Uh, and then push the button. Where, but when will we get it? That's a good question. I don't know. I, I suppose it could come out sometime also like April or May 2019. And Philip Vessels is here. Have a regular daydream. Skipping Mirage solo and can't wait for 6 degrees of freedom headset coming hopefully. 
Probably cheaper than the Quest 2. That would be amazing, Philip. Exactly. Totally agreed. Push the button, try to get the developer kit, but it's only for US developers. Yeah, that sucks. Quest controllers look much better. Agreed. Smoking Man has a magic wand <laughs> that has six degrees of motion. Yeah, that's good. That's that's a good thing to have. Yeah, Adam says, I would predict a few Daydream competitors to quest besides Mirage Solo. Totally agreed. Totally agreed. If they make it easy to make this hardware, and they do, then it should be pretty amazing. And Solo need to drop the price. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, my dear friends, that was the part about the news today. But now, let me tell you something very exciting that I totally forgot to tell you all of the week because I was too excited talking with you about the x -tile. About the x <laughs> Thank you so much, Marking Puff. Thank you so much for the very first Super Chat. And Marking Puff says, Received my Samsung Plus headsets. Sold one that paid for the other. Incredible. Thanks for the heads up. Please use this for vitamins and healthy drinks. Okay. <laughs> Markin Puff. I will do so. I will drink something healthy. You know that beer has vitamins, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Exactly, Stark's beard. Stark's beard knows exactly what's going on. Right. <laughs> Beer is not healthy, says Skidrow. Anyways, um, what I wanted to show you is this here. MRTV.co. First of all, let me tell you what MRTV.co is. MRTV.co, all the stories, all the stories, all the latest news from VR Focus, VR Scout, Road to VR, and so on and so forth. All on one website. All on MRTV.co. Yeah, I'm curating all of this together so you can always get the latest news, even news that I don't put here into this show. So now this is getting updated very, very quickly now. And automatically now, so you always have the latest news now on MRTV.co. So definitely check out MRTV.co. It's a very, very good website. Yeah. And then um, what I forgot to tell you, guys, go to the community website and find the community challenge here. The challenge of the week. I told you too little about it. So now we need to start, start with this. Challenge of the week, week 50 and 51. You have time until this Saturday, not much time anymore. You have not much time anymore. And we are playing one, we're playing the Driftway course. We're playing the Driftway course and the best time will win. And the winner will win something this time. The winner is going to win an MRTV sticker set with the very, very cool MRTV stickers. So it's absolutely worth it to win this. So play this game, play the Driftway course and try to win. And then once you have your best time, simply comment on this story, comment on this community challenge with your time and with uh, a link to a proof to, to, a, to um, yeah, a picture or a video of you playing that game and making your best time. Of course, the winner will also win some points for the MRTV World Cup. So, here, MRTV World Cup Germany on number, number one position with 16 points. Adam, you gotta win, try to win. Also for the US of A. You only got three points, dear USA. Yeah? You are number two, and then on number three, and four, Switzerland and Singapore, Finland with one point, and the United Kingdom, zero points. Zero points for the United Kingdom. It seems like people in the UK are not as talented as German players. 
<laughs> so please join the game again, my dear friends. Join the community, the community challenge. Yeah, my dear friends, here I am again, ready to chat a bit with you before I need to get some food. Meister Lou, hi Meister Lou. Yeah, nice. And Adam, if you win those stickers, you're gonna put them on your PC. Oh man, hopefully you're going to win. Or on your HMB, that would be amazing. And Tech Angel, waiting for Star VR. Yeah, hopefully they will still come out. And thank you so much, Train, thank you. <laughs> and Train says, thanks for your hard work, but stay balanced and take your time off. Yeah, I need to. Train, you say something absolutely right. I, I can feel it's like, wow. It's, uh, I've been working like crazy. I have zero Christmas feeling. I'm just running around working on the channel. Yes, thank you so much for your reminder and for your super chat. Yeah, I really, yes, I need to take it a bit more easy, really. It's like crazy. Yeah, anyways, thank you very much for your support, man. Thank you. And Smoking Man wants a VR headset that would fit my dog. <laughs> so I can watch him try to eat food. That is not there. Amazing Smoking, smoking Man. That is a really, really amazing idea, you know? I mean, that would bring the whole, I use a laser pointer to have my cat chase it to another level. And Stavia is canceled, right? Asked Mr. Dummy. Well, we don't really know exactly what's going on with Stavia. Probably they're looking for some new investor that's probably what's happening and hopefully they will find one because I love the Stavia one. And Tech Angel, Merry Christmas everybody. I need more Stavia, not Cowbell. All right, my dear friends, let's talk a bit about this news here. <laughs> Stepping Stone. What do you guys think of it? I mean, I, I think we all agree that this part where we simply sit on this platform and we're being like uh, driven around doesn't make sense, right? Do we agree on this part? Yeah, right? And Anthony Gubard says, being extra tester is your Christmas gift. Yeah, you're right. That's a pretty amazing Christmas gift. Schäfer Anatolia, yeah, because there is no crisp, no, no snow outside. Yeah, right. Smoking men don't like it. Yeah, this one, this part is looks a bit funny, right? But this part, let me show you that again. This part where the platforms move, that is pretty cool, right? So this part, what do you guys think about this part? Do you think this is this is possible? Do you think that this is going to happen? Please do let me know in the chat. I think this part is pretty nice. Push the button. You can use electric wheelchair. Yeah, right. And Stark's Beard says, I don't think it will work for flight simulation. Discomfort. Yeah. There's a heave, surge, sway, yaw, pitch, roll. Six degrees of freedom and this only covers one. You're right. Stark's Beard. But probably I'm, I'm going to test out some six degrees of... Um, Freedom platform soon, probably, probably in Las Vegas. <laughs> and that I'm really looking forward to test that out, man. Really, really, really looking forward to test out the six degrees of freedom platform in Las Vegas. And because you know what? I've never tried that out in my whole life. I'm super excited. What do you think? Which game should we try first on your six degrees of freedom simulator, dear Paul? What is, what works the best? What is like friggin' friggin' amazing? Is it like, like racing games or so, or? <laughs> Push the button, VR porn, yeah. But that part, I, I wouldn't like to film myself using it. Doom. Ultimate Doom. Do. 
Anyways. Okay, DCS and Elite Dangerous. Yeah, all racing games. Yes. Nice. Full Steam compatible. Amazing. Looking forward to that. That's going to be amazing. Oh my god. Oh yes. Elite Dangerous. Oh my goodness. Right. Oh yeah. Anyways, yeah, I think this part here, this part is pretty interesting. And if they can make this work, that would be pretty amazing. <laughs> Philip, no, I'm not interested in a porn career. <laughs> I guess my wife would also not be very happy. But Philip, I'm not sure if you... Uh, Philip, I'm not sure if you knew that I made a video. It's called a day on the VR porn set. <laughs> Do you know that I made this video? I actually went to Barcelona in Spain and I checked out how a VR porn movie is made and I made a video about it and it's called a day on the VR porn set documentary. And I really hope that you have watched that already because it is like one of the pinnacle uh, cornerstone content on this channel. Yeah, you need to rewatch, rewatch that. And <laughs> Brandon, that led me to your channel. Oh, <laughs> Brandon, that's so funny. Yeah, it was a great, it was an amazing video, right? It was really like investigative journalism. I think I need to do that again. What do you guys think? Tweaky greetings. Yeah, it was really fascinating to see all these people doing it in front of the camera. And I'm there like with my camera, like amazing, amazing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was so original, right? It was really cool. Scientific research, that what, what, that's what this channel is all about. My dear friends, I need to get to an end now. I feel really, I feel really super hungry right now. Yeah, why are we talking about VR porn? Yeah, <laughs> somebody said it and I jumped on it. <laughs> My dear friends, we need to come to an end now. For all of you who love this channel, and who, who support me going to porn sets and finding out all other interesting things about VR. Join the MRTV Elite. Join the MRTV Elite at mrtvelite.com. It is a very, very good MRTV Elite. <laughs> it is probably the best MRTV Elite ever. And um, you should join to find out all about the background of this channel and to get lots of more extra content. And for all of the MRTV Elite members, you can see the 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 video where I go to the to the porn set unmasked. Yeah, with everything you can see. You don't say unmasked. How to say that? Um, unrestricted. Unrestricted. You know what I mean, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's great. And Stark Speed, what's for dinner tonight? I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook. And I'm going to cook some rice with mushrooms and something. Yeah, I'm going to post it on the on the Patreon channel. Then you will see it. Uncensored. That's the word I was looking for. Uncensored. Uncensored. <laughs> All right, my dear friends. That's everything that I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, oh, my camera is wrong again. Oh, no. No, better. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, really do it because this helps the channel a lot. And um, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, then do it now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.
Mama? <lacht> Fertig. <lacht> ja. Nee. Aber ich bin ganz schön müde das da. Das ist echt der Hammer. Mann, 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 ey. <lacht> Erstmal was essen hier. Ja, genau.